Welcome to Stay Investigations. This video will be on how to sign up as a mystery shopper and how to set up your shopper profile. This is our main website, Seji.ca, and it has all the information you need about our company and mystery shopping. You can see about uh, our courses, our services, the important things you need as a shopper, our blog, which has our frequently asked questions, our contacts, and then the different logins. Underneath shopper is our become a mystery shopper page and it has all the information you need in becoming a mystery shopper. It has the steps on how to sign up, what a mystery shopper does, and all the other information you need on working with us. So if you scroll down and click sign up now, it will take us to our shop metrics page. So you want to put in your email address that you want to sign up with. That means all the emails that you receive from us will also go to this email. Hit next and this is where you put in all your information like your first name, your last name, date of birth, your gender, country, postal code, and the password that you want to use. Next is our contractor agreement. You want to carefully read through it and then sign agreement. Then you will get an email to that email address asking you to verify your email address. Click that link and it brings you back to the shop metrics site and your account is now set up. So you could just put in your password and log in to see your account. This is the main page of our shop metrics website and to see jobs you have to unlock them and that is first done by updating your profile so if you click in here it brings you to your profile and the most important thing here is the more tab you have to fill this out and so i'm going to do this first fill in the positions you're interested in um, the areas that you live this could be more than one. So I wrote Vancouver, Surrey, and Burnaby. And then if you have your PI license or your security license, and if you are interested in getting your security license or your private investigator license, we do have a mystery shopper to PI program that is also available for shoppers. Click the languages you speak. We pay our shoppers through PayPal, so please put in your email address where you would like the payment to be sent to. If you don't put this down, it's very hard to pay you. Please attach your current resume and then a recent photo. I'm just going to attach a simple headshot. and. Hit save. Once that's done, go into the details tab and fill that in. The distance willing to travel, that's very important because the more you increase it, the more opportunities you will get. Hit save and then go back home. Underneath, you can see the useful information like the documents that are important to the shoppers. Um, for example, there's Welcome to Sting, there's our pay policy, our investigator training, all that kind of stuff is here for you. Now, we still can't see more jobs and it shows up yellow because our profile is not finished. So I'm going to go back and add in all the important information. The ones with the star beside it are the required ones, so please fill those out. Once you're done, hit save and go back home. And now your profile is all done. The last thing you have to do is be geocoded. If you click into it and then click update, then your home location has been updated and you have been geocoded. You can always edit your profile by clicking on that icon in the upper right hand corner.
The last thing you need to do before getting started is to finish your certifications. There is three that you have to do, and without finishing them, you won't be able to apply for jobs. So I went ahead and did them all. Once those are done, when you go to the home page, you can see that you have no restrictions and can begin applying for jobs. So if you go into find jobs, you can see it as a list or a map by clicking either one on the left hand side. It's really important to change your radius because if you're willing to travel further, you'll be able to see more opportunities. If you scroll up and down, you can see the list of the jobs that we have. And if there's one that interests you, you could click view job to see the details of the job. Take a look at it. And if you want to do this job, you could write a little note on the right hand side. I usually like to write what day I could do this job and then hit apply. This will send it to the validators to approve. If you ever want to cancel or withdraw your application, you could go into my applications on the left hand side and then click on the job that you want to withdraw from and on the right hand side there's a button to withdraw and then if you go back in the home page you could see that there is 18 jobs which means your application has been withdrawn thank you and good luck